I absolutely feel your pain in knowing how difficult it is sometimes to just get nice, smooth, beautiful darts. I mean, what's the secret? They always seem to turn out so pointy and awful, right? <laughs> I've got five of my best tips for you in this video on how to avoid the dreaded pointy dart. Welcome back my sewing friends. It is always so delightful to see you here. If you are just new, welcome. My name is Evelyn Wood and I'm the creator of VintageSewingSchool.com and uh, here on this channel we talk everything about garment sewing to help you sew better garments. So if you haven't already, do check and see that you're subscribed so that you can see all of the future videos to help your sewing. In today's video, of course, we are talking about darts because uh, it can seem like mission impossible when you start sewing, when you're just learning to, they always turn out so pointy, right? What's the secret? <laughs> I know I always wanted this. So let's talk about my top five uh, ways. Basically my process, let's go from start to sort of finish in a, in a process of sewing a dart. But my top five points that I want to share with you on how to avoid those dreaded pointy darts. So let's get right into it. The first one is that you will never ever start by sewing the pointy end. No, 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 no. So it was really, really difficult if when you fold over right sides together, well, you know, we have our dart folding it over. You never want to start on the pointy end, start sewing because it's almost impossible to sort of glide onto it evenly without munching up your fabric and too hard. You always want to start sewing your darts from the larger end and then um, sewing it off to the point. And all of my further points roll off uh, from from this this premise that we're starting from the large end and going down and so when you have those darts that are like uh, like a back dart and it has double point dart sometimes you can even start in the center come down this way come back start here and then do the other one so you're always ending at the point this one is a personal trick of mine and that is you'll want to mark your dart point one centimeter in from the actual point let me explain a little bit. I think this is my favorite um, tips that my students in vintage sewing school absolutely uh, mind blowing uh, moment and really helps them out is to actually mark the dart in from the point. Let me show you. So what I mean is when we're ready to mark in our actual dart here. Now let's just clarify your bust point, your apex, you never sew to that. Your dart will always be marked in a little further. So your little triangle, so to say, is usually marked here. So what my method is, is I mark in just one centimeter or three eighths of an inch, I believe, uh, in from that pointy part. And that is where I actually mark my dart. And that is the point that I aim to when I'm sewing rather than this point um, back here. So draw in your dart as usual if you need to. I would suggest drawing it in on the, the far side of your new dart if you need to do this. Draw the lines in. I will for demonstration purposes. And so obviously uh, we're going to sew a little bit further but it gives you room for me when I'm sewing I know when I am aiming for a point I generally need to go a little bit further and so this is actually gives you a little bit of room to to taper off and smooth off the point so you're not just coming to to exaggerate this into a chunk you can sort of smooth around off the end which is my next point so what I do is I come down and I come down and I sew and as you get to this uh, you know slightly inner mark that's what you aim for you don't have to be touching the fold of the fabric at that point but you sort of aim for that and you've got this little buffer and so when you get here what you actually do is you sort of start to pivot your fabric a little bit and you want to sew two or three stitches down along the fold only two or three stitches basically till you almost hit um, the the other pin there you should at that point along the fold and what it does is it just rounds off that point and smooths off this that very 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 pointy part of it so in practice so all the way down and then as you get to that sort of mark just leave your needle in the machine in the fabric pivot a little bit and keep sewing down be very 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 careful as you do this though 
The next tip is to not back stitch as you get to this point. So instead of trying to uh, go backwards and reverse to lock your stitches in, just um, lift up your needle where you're ready to finish, lift up your foot, bring out your threads without reversing, give yourself uh, a little bit of length here on your tails, chop those off and then what you'll want to do is actually manually tie off these ends. So rather than back stitching, just a good old fashioned knot. You've got two pieces, it's not very hard, just tie them like you'd sort of tie shoelaces. Uh, two, do a double. And then the very key is to actually leave, again, another sort of centimeter, three, three eighths of an inch of your little tails, little thread ends. Don't chop it right down to the knot because there won't be anything to hold it in and it will come apart. But if you leave a little bit of um, ends, it'll be nice and smooth. Now that we're sewn, the next thing is to press this dart in a curve. Our bust is curved and so if we press it in a curve, it's going to not be as pointy. So this is the tip that doesn't even involve sewing. This is where you will want your pressing ham, a sausage ham, a, a sleeve roll, anything. Roll up a towel, scrap fabric, anything you can get to make a curve that you can press over. So you want to smooth off and curve the very point here. So you will get um, this and find a nice spot that it sits on. See that? Can you see how smooth that is? Maybe you have to lay it uh, this way. This is what this is how you use these and you do anything you can to be able to have this sit super smooth. And then when you press this and lots of steam and pressing this, that will just press out that sharpness too and will mold around. Think about this shape as kind of replicating your bust and so that your dart will be molded around it. Now, synthetic fabrics will not mold as well, so you'll find it won't work as nice. You'll likely get more pointiness with synthetic fabrics. Natural fibers will really want to uh, smooth and mold with all that steam so it'll be easier to use the, the heat to do that as well. If you don't have one of these already I promise you you will not regret getting one. I do have links uh, to these guys in my Amazon store. It's linked down below. Yes they are affiliate links uh, and thank you for using them. It doesn't really cost you anything uh, but it does help me out and this channel. I know by following just some, even some of these points that you will get less pointy darts for sure and I really look forward to hearing uh, your experience through it. If you really enjoyed this content I share uh, all of this and much much more over at my online school vintagesewingschool.com. I have left links down in the description box below because I invite you to come join me if you're ready to take your sewing to the next level that is what we do. So come join me there like this video if you liked it and please let me know which of these uh, tips you're going to use the most in your sewing and how it goes for you. I love to read all of your comments and sharing it all makes us all better sewers as we collate our information together as a sewing community here. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy sewing. Bye.